Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fortunate sky. In fact, we do have one of the most fortunate days of the year taking place mid-month, but it is the lead up to that that will ensure you make the most of it. And the lead up includes the new moon. Right around the fourth or fifth of the month, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. So there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of possibility, a lot of hope. But what is also happening with this new moon is that it will speak in conversations of tension with Saturn and with Pluto. Of course, both of these planets are moving through your sign slowly but surely. And it is ultimately these conversations of tension that will ensure that you've set the motivation, that you've cultivated the determination to make the most when the energy does get that much easier and that much easier to access at that. And so this new moon is happening where a lot of energy is happening this month, which is the part of the sky that has to do with home and family of origin. It has to do with understanding your past differently and bringing a different perspective to what was and a deeper layer of forgiveness. And given that this new moon is speaking with these key planets in your sign it tells me that what is transpiring in these areas for you now is that much more important to you saturn entered your sign last year actually a little bit longer than that it was sort of the very end of 2017 and leading into 2018 was when saturn entered your sign and it's going to be there throughout this year, dipping in and out next year. And this represents an important moment for you. These years are where you are learning to take ownership for your happiness, to understand that your happiness, your fulfillment, and whatever it is that you are hoping for in your life is ultimately your responsibility. And it's up to you to take action to move yourself in that direction. Saturn is about doing your best and surrendering the rest. It is Pluto that has slowly but surely since late last decade been teaching you about healthy surrender and redefining power. It has encouraged you to transform your life and transform yourself towards a more authentic version one that is free of the superfluous and instead allows you to understand the essentials of life and to know that you truly have everything that you need. And what you have most is power, the power to take action, the power to facilitate big change in your life. It's these very lessons that are going to be highlighted now as you are considering your past differently. You may be examining some early messaging from your childhood, and some of this may come up in the context of what is happening with your parents. Now, on the other hand, this can also be looking at buying, selling, moving, or taking on a new roommate. Some changes happening on the home front in terms of where it is that you live. Even redecorating could be covered here as well. But regardless, it is in some way touching on speaking to some deeper journey that you are on right now towards responsibility and empowerment. As part of this, chances are there's a determination that is there and there's also a need to recognize the limitations that are there as well towards the changes that you hope to create. Now, the great thing is, is that because of the way these key planets in your sign are speaking with this new moon, you're taking action. That's what it means at the end of the day, that you're motivated, you're taking action, you feel like there's something that needs to change, and you are moving in that direction, regardless of whether it feels not so great or great or not so comfortable. It is going to be in the middle of the month that the payoffs are going to start to happen one after the other, after the other, you will be riding a momentum 
So trust what it is that feels not so easy in the early part of the month, translate it into action and you will set the stage for a truly fortunate turn of events as we get to the middle of the month. So what's happening right around the 14th is a supremely harmonious connection between the sun moving through this foundational part of your sky and Jupiter moving through the sign just before yours. And there's a few ways I can see this paying off. And one could literally be like a payoff. Again, if you're buying or selling or moving, there may be a financial element to uh, what ends up going your way and the change that you want to make. There can be a sense of good karma that facilitates some of the changes you are hoping to make. And it could also be some good news that happens in relation to a parent now uh, that seems to be especially meaningful to you also. This is a part of the sky that can be connected to your professional journey as well. If you are someone who works from home or works with homes or is interested in, is taking steps towards establishing a home-based business, well, some of this good karma that finds you now can be connected to your professional life also, where you find yourself just catching a truly lucky break and making gains on that front. It is gonna be a little bit later in the month that the professional part of it really starts to take off and we've also have mercury and venus moving into this foundational part of your sky which means that you'll be able to ride a boom that takes place in the middle of the month towards greater blessings the further you move towards the later part of the month now let's talk about the full moon that is happening right around the 19th of the month this full moon is happening at the very top of your sky. If this sounds familiar, it's because last month you also had a full moon in this part of the sky as well. And this is a rare second full moon in this part of the sky. It was last month's full moon that happened at the very beginning of its respective sign. And so full moons tend to bring with them culmination and completion and a conclusion. However, last month, it also contained a sense of new beginning and embarking on a new journey. This month, it's different. The full moon is happening at the very end of its respective sign, which means that this truly represents some sense of closure. This represents a concentration of energy and intensity that is gonna be there at this time. And very likely, emotions are gonna to come to the surface. And of course, this is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose, uh, rewards, accolades. It has to do with aligning yourself with a more loving, higher vision for your life. And it has to do with promotions and interviews and auditions. So all of these areas are gonna come into focus. There is blessings around the full moon this month, and that is because there is a harmonious connection to Jupiter. So again, that good karma is covering you, which is wonderful. But we also have Uranus standing across the sky from this full moon as well, which does suggest an element of surprise uh, and a quickness to what develops now. And so maybe the surprise is actually a shock, but regardless of how the moment comes about, there is going to be change and it is ultimately change that when you look at it is right and its time has come and you, will in some way realize that what is happening now is hearkening to what happened a month earlier with last month's full moon. So for some of you, this can be a very surprising opportunity for some interview, for some audition, uh, for some promotion. Again, it comes out of the blue, but the great thing is when Uranus is involved, it's like an opportunity to leap into your future, to take a big jump forward uh, in a way that supports you very much. If it is that you are experiencing this energy in more spiritual uh, realms, then this can be a time when you find yourself making some change and the insight may come about very quickly and an opportunity may come about very quickly as well that allows you to feel more in alignment with that more higher loving vision for your life. For others, there may be uh, some reward or accolade that comes 
that seems to come out of the blue, out of nowhere, but is absolutely well earned. And chances are you put a lot of good things into place a long time ago that led to this moment. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, it is going to be under the light of the full moon that Venus is going to change signs. As Venus embarks on this move through the very foundation of your chart, it does suggest that where it comes to love, you are looking at the past and considering where you've been and how it has brought you to this moment. Remember, there's so much healing energy as well, thanks to Jupiter, the way that Jupiter is speaking to the new moon, speaking to the sun as well. And so ultimately, whatever insights you glean will be part of helping you to understand more fully, to forgive where needed, uh, to reposition the past so that it empowers you today and allows you to love more fully right now. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, this can be a time when someone from the past does pop up in some way into your life. And this is part of the realizations for you and the insights for you. Um, but it is ultimately going to be something that allows you to find a deeper closure. It can be a time when you meet somebody who is very much like someone that you knew before or in some way awakens uh, some of your own appreciation for how far you've come. For those of you getting to know somebody, you know, when Venus moves into this part of the sky, you're able to see your past more lovingly. Uh, you're able to understand what was before, perhaps going all the way back to your childhood and seeing how some of the best that was before may be showing up within the bond that you have. You know, a lot of people, when we go on a healing journey, a part of that is having to look at and forgive the past more deeply. And we may look at what wasn't so great or what didn't work. Well, it is gonna be now that you're able to have a deeper love and a deeper appreciation for what was and to understand what was so good that allows you to be that much more open to love today. And for those of you in an established bond, you know, this is just wanting to close the door and create a sacred space between the two of you, wanting to spend that much more time alone together. And so this tends to be a time when you're not necessarily very social as a couple, but rather you're wanting to nurture the bond that you have, uh, solidify the unspoken bond that the two of you have. What can also happen when Venus moves into this part of the sky is that if you are in an established bond, but you're not living together, this is where you start to think about setting up house together as well. What I love about this month for you, it's got to be how much love there is at home. There is so much love when you look at where it is that you are coming from. There is karmic blessings as well. And there will be at least one moment that will humble you in the grandeur and the opportunity to create meaningful and purposeful change. The opportunity to unleash even bigger blessings in your life that find you now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.